Hello and welcome, it's Strad Vodka here from the Whirlpool Forums. Um, I'd just like to show you the new theme that I've been working on. Um, so we've got Of Modems and Men, uh, welcome to the router. So you can view the website here, that's Derryman's website that is set up. So you've got, um, if you go down here you can see router is now quite widespread throughout the world. Um, just scroll down here and you can see all the different countries and all the people using it. So we had uh, 14,000 downloads last month, so it's going pretty well. Support routers and modems. So if you want to know whether your router supports this firmware, um, just have a look on this page here. Scroll down. Also your modems as well, I should say. Now I've got several different spider versions here. So I've got the Black Widow. I've um, got the Huntsman. And I've got releases for each one of those and then the latest which is funnel web so you can see all the releases of firm web for those <coughs> excuse me and you can see that we've got the versions of the, the routers here and the download um, of the firm firmware on those links here and obviously the list, list of the models there and we've got some factory firmware there as well in case you want to flash back to that And then we've got a fairly extensive tutorial page for if you do happen to brick your router, you can have a look on here and um, see what you need to do. I always recommend reading this before you flash a router, it doesn't matter what firmware. So, um, yeah, everything runs on OpenWRT, and this here is based off the OpenWRT Lucy. Um, so I'll just put a little bit of graphics in here just to make it look a bit nicer. Um, so this is the initial login page of the new theme. And most of you might have been used to either generally Bootstrap or OpenWRT Lucy. Well this is the new one that I've been working on. Um, so I'll just go in here for you got the default passwords on there. So probably still have to work a little bit on the spacings here. I did have that worked out um, but with the new graphics inserted it's kind of changed that a little bit. But anyway, you can see the, um, the menus um, when I hover over them they change colour and I've got a little bit of colour gradient on them as well. So here we've got the status tells you all the information you need to know, DHCP leases, um, if your WAN is active, so do you have internet, your firmware, your load, um, any DHCP6 leases, wireless and who's connected, um, gives you MAC addresses and a lot, and MWAN3 which is newly integrated by Dairyman's programming. So we've got firewalls, we've got routes, we've got system logs. This is usually where we like people to um, go if they're having problems and just left mouse click and select and then right mouse click and copy and post that in the forums. Also quite often um, the kernel log helps as well. So we've also got processes here uh, graphics at the moment, um, I'm sorry the graphs at the moment, the link is not working. I did have that fixed but I've been playing around so I need to go back and have another look at that. Um, so you can see uh, um, you can hang up, terminate or kill particular processes. We used to have a, um, a problem with a process called get sig but um, so you can see there's only one get sig here so it's all good 
If you ever have multiple ones, please let us know. Shouldn't be a problem anymore though. So if you want to do a um, firm, if you want to do a firmware update just to see um, what firmware we're up to, you can have a look at here. So it tells you current firmware. Then you can check the firmware, and that looks online for that. So I'll just go to modem. Um, this is something you probably won't see in many other places, but we've got connection monitoring information. So APN, this is this is where you put your own APN, APN uh, from your ISP. So, for instance, here in Australia we have Telstra.Internet, Telstra.BigPond, um, we've got Vodafone, we've got Optus, um, we've got a few others as well. So, anyway, at the moment I've just got default username and password here. PIN if you need it. Generally, here in Australia, it's not needed. Um, authentication protocols that type of thing. You can put custom DNS's in there. So for here I usually use 8.8.8 .8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. .8 .4. Um, just remove that. So we can go to the monitoring. Um, so here you can monitor you know, um, ping, trace routes, that sort of thing. So you just enable it. Um, you can monitor also with an optional restart. And SMS. So, um, at the moment, all this this entire area is being worked on by Dairyman, and he's coming up with bigger and better things. So all this will be changed again, and a lot of it will be condensed onto one page, and then we'll also have an extra page with a few other bits and pieces. But um, you can see here the messages. So go to a message. Miss a call from da 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 da. You can delete, reply, new message, and send to, and your message here. Network status. Here's an important one. It's, it took quite a while. It uses a lot of AT commands to modems um, to get the information that you see here. So a lot of times you might not um, get the internet. So but your modem's connected, um, so you can play with this by decreasing and increasing the port numbers to change um, the USB from like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and, and so forth depending on what your modem um, allows and quite often then you'll instantly get internet. So uh, we've got signal information and this is really important especially when you're in rural areas to see um, what your actual signal is and how close you are to not getting a signal. So you can see mine here is not very good. It's at minus 97 dBm. But luckily for me, um, and and you can actually see here that the ECIA is pretty crappy as well. But the RSSI is pretty good at the moment. But I know um, I know my towers cell IDs, and this 24221. Is not my usual one. Normally, I have uh, six, six, four. So that's pretty easy for me to change to the other one, and I generally get faster speeds. So great thing about this is that um, I can look at this and go, right, that's not really what I'm after. I, I'd, um, I, I'd like to go to the other cell ID and for me I happen to be in the particular place where I can do that it's not it won't work for everyone but at least it gives you the info you need um, so here you can you can actually select 4G only 4G preferred 3G only that sort of thing so you can really lock your modem to that particular band um, so if I do want to change to a different um, cell ID, I, I go to custom and I'll just put it in here AT UMTS Gen equals 1 and then the frequency. So I'm not going to do it now, otherwise I'll lose connection and, and then it um, loads up again. So then we also have information here, it shows you all the information that you need and 
This is really important, the device debug information. <clears throat> if you're having problems, we, we really want you to select that and right mouse click and copy and then paste it again into the forums. Um, then we've got support. So this just shows you a bit about the ports and vendors, product IDs. Um, I'll just run quickly through these because I don't want this video to be too long. So we've got admin area, we've got software. Um, oh yes, I should say that if any of you are using um, bandwidth monitoring or shutting down and all that, um, those type of functions, um, please come on here and and make sure that you sync with your browser, your time here. So you can see I've put where I am and there's a whole list here. You go all the way through. You need that to be to be right. Um, see I've, I've fixed all these buttons here that took a little bit of time but um, you can select them there. You just sort of see the shadow there. I'll probably make that a little bit more transparent so you can see that a little bit better in the future and save and apply um, so yeah you've got software this will tell you all the packages that have been s installed on your router um, you can also search for any available packages alphabetical order so H for instance um, so there's only one there and you can install them as well and you can update your list but yeah we do advise you check with us before you go installing any old packages because it might not work um, I probably shouldn't go through all these but okay and um, they just saw your processes for your, your startup so we've got scheduled tasks um, time synchronization, mount points, which is a new one. Um, this will actually allow you to um, mount, say, such a USB drive, and you can put uh, some videos on there or music, and you can run that through Wi Fi as a server and then connect to it via let's say like I do a laptop and just stream it straight off the off the um, USB through the router pretty handy it's Derriman's latest work so you can do scheduled shutdowns and this is where time synchronization uh, and um, you know uh, synchronizing to the um, the browser time is important you can configure your LEDs, you can configure your buttons, um, back up flash your firmware. Most of the time what I'll do is I'll unselect that, then choose a file and then flash the firmware. I don't generally ever keep those settings but some people do. So, uh, just going to services. Open VPN. A lot of people want VPN. So here you go. This is where you can play around with that. Um, again, network sharing. So this is again where you set up your um, your server. Which you can see rooted Samba server at the moment. And your work group, and you can dedicate size to that. Um, go to the network for tutorials. I mean, go for the to the website for tutorials, and then yeah, we've got network here, so you can go in here and you can edit your LAN. Um, something new Derriman's been working on is multi WAN. Allows several USB modems to be put in at once and used. Um, so I've got mine set as a static IP address. 
and set your custom DNS server like normally I, I would set it to 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. default gateway this is important to know this if you're going to have a static IP and to set your static IP on your computer as well. Um, so you've got your Wi-Fi, you can edit that, you can change your SSID. Uh, mine's just ge the generic at the moment, OpenWRT. You can see all the um, devices connected to my Wi-Fi at the moment just sitting around in the house. DHCP and DNS rules, you can set their host names, static routes, diagnostics, firewalls, bandwidth monitoring. So you can have a look at what you can do there, you can reset it, you can um, change the time here, hour, day. Um, it'll tell you the total that you've downloaded. It's pretty handy for like my connection where it's, if I go over I get charged a lot of money so I keep a good eye on this um, QoS sort here and multi -win. right I think that probably about wraps it up for now. So I hope you've enjoyed the new theme and um, thanks to everyone from Team Router. Um, if you want to have a look what we're doing at the moment, you can see we've got we're on Whirlpool and I'll just head there. So it's the next G Adventures 320. 320 UMR3 420 part 7. You might think it's a kind of a strange area to um, develop in but we've been here for over a year now so it started off as this topic suggests but then we moved on and newer things cropped up and we thought we'd just stay here and keep plugging away at it. So there's there's a lot of people involved now, uh, a lot of regulars, a lot of people coming in and just you know letting us know what they would like, what they'd like change, and the problems they're having, and really just sort of working on bugs. And um, Dairyman here, he's the main man. He's a programmer. He's in Canada and he's an absolute whiz. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks very much.